Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so I'm gonna get started by showing you guys the dried results from the last video. So this was the, a lot of people said the 4th of July painting, because yes, uh, 4th of July is coming up for fellow Americans, but we also have July 1st, which is Canada Day here in Canada. I'm pretty sure I got that right. But yeah, so it is dry and you can see the silver shimmer in there. So I'm really happy with it. My client loves it. So this is going to get um, a top coat of crystal resin and the colors are just going to pop once the resin goes on. So that's done, dry, ready for resin. I wanted to quickly remind you guys that in five weeks, oh my gosh, five weeks, I am off to Las Vegas. So for those of you who want information on PourCon, I will be heading to Las Vegas along with 21 other fellow YouTubers. Um, it's going to be an amazing time. If you want information on PourCon, go to www.pourcon.com. Okay, speaking of classes, I'm also hosting a workshop here in my home studio, in my home studio, here in London, Ontario. If you are interested in information on the class, it is Saturday, July 22nd. If you are interested, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com for information. Um, anywho, today I am working on a huge commission for a client. It's so huge that it has to be done in three different parts. I'm gonna have to do three separate videos because my client wants three canvases and each canvas is 24 by 30 inches. So this is a big one. And because I obviously can't fit all three on my table, I've got to do them one at a time. So I'm super excited. Let's get with part one of three. Let's get to get it started. So I'm going to set myself up and let's go. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, you are pushed really far back, really high up because this is a big canvas. I have not done a big canvas like this in such a long time and I'm so excited to work on a large canvas. So as I mentioned, this is a 24 by 30 inch canvas and I have to do three of them. Now my client loves blues. So what we've decided is we're gonna be using the same colors in all three pieces. The only difference being the base is gonna change. So she wants a white base, a black base and a light-ish gray base. So there's gonna be three different base canvases, but the colors are going to remain the same. So it's gonna be really interesting to see the exact same colors and what they look like on a different base. So that being said, we are starting off today with a black base, okay? I'm gonna be doing the black base one today and let me tell you the colors. So of course, we are going to start off with um, Oxide Black by Amsterdam. I'll show you, actually, I always show that, but Oxide Black, okay? Oxide Black by Amsterdam. That is my base. I hope I have enough paint. I've got two jugs here. I've got two. So Oxide Black by Amsterdam. Now, the colors I'm using, Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. Then we have Pearl Electric blue by Arteza or Arteza. Uh, then I have Indian Threen blue by Holbein, followed by Iridescent blue green by Pebeo. Then I have Windsor blue by Windsor and Newton, adding in some Iridescent silver by Pebeo. Then one of my new favorite colors, Thalo Turquoise by TriArt. And then topping it off, Indigo by Amsterdam, the expert series, okay? So these are my colors. I've got eight colors, which is fine on such a large canvas like this, okay? Eight colors. And then I'm gonna be using, of course, the flower hair dryer. I'm totally obsessed with this thing. If you watched all my old videos, I had that Conair silver one, and I always use that one on my larger pieces. No, this is my go-to forever from now on. <laughs> Um, I think I've retired the Conair hair dryer because um, I just have so much more control with that. 
Um, all right, so those are my colors. And again, if you want to know how I mix my paints, I mix them with water and Floetrol. And if you want to know the ratios of how I mix them, check out video number 434 on my YouTube channel. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who are interested. Click on that link and it's a full tutorial on how I mix my paints. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to flood my canvas. I'm nervous because it's been so long since I've done such a big canvas. All right, I'm going to flood her. I'll be right back. everybody I'm back and I'm, I'm sitting there thinking about how the heck am I gonna do the uh, composition on this let's just see a little more bubbles I'm gonna pop here actually I need to refill this with butane I'm running low on butane all right so composition yeah I haven't really thought that through did I no I did not <laughs> It's so big, usually I just do one wispy and a line and a line, but this is so big, I wanna fill as much as the canvas as I can. So um, let me concentrate, concentrate, I can't even speak. <laughs> let me concentrate for a second here, people. Um, okay, so let me start off with this. Okay, I'm just gonna go back over it. And then let me go this way and then branch off that way. Yeah, that'll work. And then over here, even though you can't even see it, I can't even see it, but you'll see it soon enough, trust me. Um, and then over here, what if I go this way and branch off a little this way? All right. That is what I've done. What I've done. Now, now you'll see the rest. Now you'll start to see the rest. You're probably wondering, well, why put such a dark color? There goes my microphone. Put that back on. Why do such a dark color if you can't see it? Because trust me, you will see it somewhere. And with it mixing with all the other colors, it really does do something than nothing. All right, so we've got the Indian Threen Blue. I'm gonna have to refill all these bottles because there's no way I'm gonna have enough in here for all three canvases. And for those of you who are wondering, these are my Loli Veffy bottles and you can get them from loliveffy.com. I swear by these bottles. I, these are like the greatest things I have in my studio. Um, I have over probably over 150 bottles and they are airtight. So you can have your paint in here forever and ever and it'll be totally fine. I've had paint in these forever. And don't forget, you can also save 10% off using code Canela10 on the website. So you can order all kinds of stuff off the website and save 10% off, Canela 10. All right, I am I keep thinking about Vegas and how excited I am and I cannot wait to get out of here. I've never been to Vegas. I know it's gonna be ridiculously hot in Vegas. Everyone has forewarned me, but that's okay. When I'm not teaching classes in the nicely air-conditioned Green Valley Ranch Resort, I am going to be sitting poolside, getting my tan on. <laughs> I cannot wait. I can't wait to get there. I can't wait to see the students teach 
the classes, but I also just can't wait to sit out in the sun and relax with my friends. I'm excited. Okay, last color. There is a lot of paint on this baby. And I'm so going to have to refill all these bottles up because they are like almost empty. Okay, right, colors down. Let's pop the bubbles. I'm so nervous because it's just such a big canvas, but I can do it. I know I can. All right, I just gotta think this through. So I'm gonna start here and blow into the negative space here because you wanna make sure you have enough paint to go into the negative space. And then this blob will come down this way. So this is gonna take a while. Let's get started. Oh la la! <laughs> wow! I love it! This was crazy. It's been so long since I've done such a massive canvas. And although you might not be able to see it so well as well as I do because you're so far back and so high up, but when I bring you guys in for a close up, I'm telling you you guys are going to freak out. This thing is amazing. Wow, okay, I'm telling you, if you don't already have it, do yourself a favor and go and get the Thalo Turquoise by TriArt. Let me see, where's the bottle? Do I have it here? I don't, it's probably in my cupboard. But anywho, go and get yourself some tri art paints, especially that say a little turquoise, because I'm telling you, it is stunning. What a stunning color. Okay, um, I don't think I'm gonna touch anything on this. It's perfect. It's perfect. Nope, not touching anything. And I've 
literally filled up so much of this. The only negative space is like here in the corners and then just a little bit over here. And it's just exactly how I wanted it. I wanted it to be mostly covered with minimal negative space to show off all the pretty colors. So I'm going to fix the edges and I will bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody, before I get to the close up, it is so important. Don't forget to take a stick and you want to scrape the drips. Okay, scrape those drips all the way across. Do all four sides. Come back 10 minutes later because there are going to be more. Do it again. Like, look at the skins I'm going to have out of this thing when it's dry paint skins i'm going to show you guys a video on how to do jewelry coming up soon but in the meantime look at this it's huge this is going to take a while to dry i'm very curious maybe i'll pump up the heat in the in the studio with my heater so that it um dries a little quicker but look at the cells it is insane. Do you see that? Oh, my camera's changing colors on me. Do you see that turquoise, phthalo turquoise by Triart? I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not. Maybe a little bit, somewhat. But guys, I'm telling you, guys and gals, this is like one of my favorite colors now. And it's so pigmented and so rich in color. It's insane. Look at this, it's, it's crazy. Let's check it out with the flash on. All right, so I've got the flash on and you can definitely see some shimmer. Now I'm not gonna do the whole painting because it's just way too big, but there's definitely shimmer in this. Look at that, let's go over here. So we've got the iridescent silver, the iridescent blue-green in here. Was there another one? Oh, yes. The pearl by Arteza, the pearl blue. So there's three shimmers in here, and you can definitely see it. No doubt about that. So I'll just show you guys that quick glimpse. And there you have it, everybody. I'm super stoked. I cannot wait to see what these colors are gonna look like on a gray base. That is what I'm doing next. Um, hopefully this dries in time. <laughs> it just doesn't dry. I might not be able to post another video until this is dry because this doesn't get moved. A lot of people ask me, what do you do when you paint? Do you take the painting and move it? Like obviously not one this big, but like a smaller canvas? Nope, I don't touch it. It literally sits here for two to three days until it's dry and then I'll move it. Um, if I really, really need to move it after about a day and a half or so, once the edges are all dry and only like, let's just say the center is still wet, you can move it or that's when I'll move it, but I won't touch it. I will not touch it until it is dry. That's just my rule, my rule for my studio. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I love it. Uh, like I said, gray is next going to do a nice light gray. So it'll be very interesting to see these colors on a light gray. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you are new watching, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell and uh, check out the description below. Lots of discounts to a lot of products I use, Loli Vefi, Crystal Resin, Arteza discounts, all kinds in the description below. Uh, that is it for me. If you want info, July 22nd workshop here. Come and hang out in my studio um, and come and learn with me. July 22nd, canalaseraco at gmail.com. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye. Mm. Oh, my God.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 